Hello legends and welcome to Blunt Force Healing Podcast, episode 233. This means that it's 233 days since this podcast started. And for all of you that are first time listeners or watchers, because I'm recording the video episode for YouTube as well, there is a blog that is underpinning this podcast and the blog was actually the first thing that came to fruition at the beginning and the podcast followed in parallel but the videos started just recently to be more regular and I hope I will keep up with making them regular from now on. This is the 11th update from the video perspective. So kind of 11th episode of the video podcast on YouTube and obviously 233rd episode or end blog post in parallel. The video recording today is horizontal which should be probably for YouTube but um, the one reason I was recording vertical videos for the video updates was because it's quite awkward to record horizontal videos from a selfie camera perspective on the phone because you're effectively looking into the camera lens that is in a very unintuitive place in comparison to where the screen is and your faces. So if you, if you take your phone and have a look or set it to the selfie mode so you can see yourself and record from front camera. Because of the vertical position of the phone, your screen or yourself, your face is in the middle and the camera is in the middle as well, just above the screen. So it's a natural thing that you see your face and you talk to the camera or to the phone and it looks good when recorded from the viewer perspective. But now <laughs> I try really hard to get similar situation on the horizontal uh, format. And it's quite weird because I can see currently, well, whatever way, whichever way you put your phone be it on the left side or the right side, the screen will always be shifted and with the, with the angle, like the, the corner of your eye, you will see it either on the left or the right side while you need to look straight into the kind of top side of the phone, which is in the middle. So, I'm talking to the black piece of the phone at the moment with a little light on that indicates that I'm recording. This is very weird. Uh, so I'll probably switch to GoPro at some stage, but what I don't like about GoPro or any other camera is the additional steps and effort to transfer the video to some other device and then put into YouTube. With the phone, it's obviously quite straightforward because the app is on the phone and uh, whatever you use, be it iOS or Android, you have the U YouTube app and uh, some form of video or photo library on your phone. So you just simply upload it and it works. So I need to think about how to do that for a daily journal video updates 
phone is definitely a choice. So I need to either get used to looking into that thing uh, at the top of the phone with a little bit of a speaker or something and the light on while ignoring my face on left or right side of the phone where the screen is. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. The title of today's episode is In Pieces. Um, The first reason is because I didn't know what to start to write about and it was early during the day. The other argument is that I actually feel, well, maybe not now, but most of the day I felt like I was in pieces. Literally like something or somebody run over me. And that's because of yesterday's training with Julian. So before the sunset, I think it was about 20 minutes or something before, or one hour and 20 minutes. I don't remember, I don't quite remember what what time exactly we went for training, but the key point is that Even after the sunset, we still kept playing for about an hour, which led to the point where we couldn't properly see the ball. It was so dark, so we decided to come back home. But it was great crack. Um, The weather was perfect for the evening. It was a decent temperature, no rain quite a nice sunset and dusk and we thoroughly enjoyed the the play where I was mostly shooting on goals and Julian took his gloves and was great as a goalkeeper uh, with a lot of failed attempts from my side and one of those attempts I would say accounts for more of a feeling being in pieces than than I would normally be after such a training. So I very often today felt that kind of thing that I'm too old for this crap, meaning football or soccer, depending on which area of the world you prefer to say it. I know that in the US football is I would say more popular sports uh, sport uh, area and it's related to kind of rugby like uh, different sport than rugby but with very similar sets of rules but and even if you don't compare it to to rugby it's definitely closer to rugby than than soccer and obviously in Europe, we all call it football, but the original name, I think even invented by uh, English people was soccer. If you didn't know about it, well, now you know. Very vi- valuable re- lesson. It was, initially it was a sock, and then it became sock and er that they were adding to many words. That's how the soccer was created. And ASOC was basically association of football. And of, from ASOC, it became sock er. I wrote a post about it. Uh, it's one of the earlier posts, so you can, you can just use search i believe and you can easily find that episode and that blog post well yeah the blog post and episode of the podcast it should be easily searchable i put some small history lesson there because i've learned it at the time and decided to share it with you guys so today was a quite nice day nothing fancy I would say happened today except uh, 
a little bit of walk, a visit on the beach where um, my wife took a cold plunge in the ocean. The water was quite rough, even though it wasn't stormy or anything like that, but ocean felt unease uh, and despite being quite low in terms of the, the crest of the waves, it was still an interesting, I would say, experience for my wife, especially that she, she was expecting a bit of calmer waters and easy plunge, but it became a very windy visit with a bit of rough water surface, but yeah. She enjoyed it anyway, uh, and I was just uh, assisting her to make sure that the tide won't take her clothes, and yeah, just as a safety measure, it's always better to be with the second person, regardless of what you do. Always make sure that you have somebody with you. Because if somebody bad happens, at least you have somebody else that can reach out for help. And in case of plunges or swimming in the cold waters, that's very likely to happen. There's a lot of risks associated with cooling down body. Although it's very beneficial, you need to know when to get out before your body starts going into symptoms of uh, you know cold exposure and becoming you know uh, too cool to respond properly other than that in the afternoon julian had uh, had returned to training they had great weather as well for playing football or soccer, whatever you prefer. And I mentioned that he skipped the recent match, which Drumbar won. So it was good to hear, but uh, because he didn't feel well due to an infection, uh, we decided that he would not go for that. And today he enjoyed the training and it was all cool when the coach said about the next match on Saturday. We were both happy that he'll be playing and then I realized that on Saturday we will be actually going to Dublin. So there is no way he will be able to attend. So I need to make sure that it's exactly Saturday because there are two matches on Saturday and Sunday. So we need to check if his match is actually on Saturday. If, if that's the case, that's unfortunate. He won't be playing. If it's Sunday, then cool. And Saturday will be a special day for Julian especially and for my wife because we are going to Dublin to pick my mother-in-law that uh, is visiting us for probably just more just just a little bit more than two weeks so it will be a, a nice visit i'm looking forward to it she's a great woman and great granny for for julian definitely looking forward to it and when she goes back to poland we will have probably about three weeks of rest before a part of my family comes for another week of visit. My mother and my brother are coming, so that will be a fun time too. So a lot of things will be happening in between. I will have a visit in another visit in Dublin again on, I believe, 18th of May, 
and then probably two visits or one overnight visit in Dublin at the end of June. So quite a lot of things are happening. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I will definitely be writing about and recording about. For now, I would like to wrap up for today. But before I leave you, I want to remind you that every blog post has the short form, well, actually just a single field where you can provide your email address and sign up for the for the email list. Don't worry, I'm not sending anything yet. It's just a list building um, exercise for those that might want to receive communications and some sort of training or advice on uh, data privacy, security and safety overall in the internet topics and in social media. And there is a decent project that is ongoing. I can't say much about it yet because it's part of the non-disclosure agreement for another company, but once it takes off and I shape it, pro shape it, Jesus Christ, shape it properly, then uh, it will be available for others. And I'm not yet sure how I will um, structure it, but it will be a very interesting service that those of you that will sign up for the list will be first to hear about. And while you might be wanting to use it or not, it will definitely be something cool to be one of the first adopters to hear about and maybe spread the word out there because it will be related to security and, and privacy. Uh, I know that this topic might sound boring or unnecessary for a regular person out there in the internet, but believe me, all of us, sooner or later, will suffer to, ex to some extent from data privacy or information security perspective or, or cyber security perspective. And I'd like to prevent or mitigate those situations potentially in future by teaching or advising people how they can prevent that or at least minimize the impact if that happens and be ready for that. So yeah, this is it for today. Mm, I hope you have a great day, afternoon or evening and spend the rest of it on the things that are relaxing and fulfilling. Stay tuned for next episode and I hope to see you tomorrow so you can listen, read or watch and listen on YouTube if you want. Once again, thank you very much for spending your time with me and listening to my ramblings and stay tuned for tomorrow.